you should feel free to experiment and exaggerate with your cartoon style to make them funny and entertaining and compelling when you look at them. Since 1970, Carson Van Austin has helped to bring Disney's most beloved characters to life in a variety of forms of media across the world. To me, Walt Disney Studios was really like a kind of ivory tower. Carson began his career with Disney as a staff comic strip artist and storyman in 1974. Walt Disney characters had this added dimension. They became more like actors. Within six years of his time at Disney, Carson became manager of creative services with Disney Consumer Products, where he provided key art supervision and concepts for Disney West Coast licensing. At the same time, he also oversaw motion picture tie-in advertising and the Disney Music Company. By 1988, Carson took on the role of leading creative resources for Disney Consumer Products as its vice president. There, he provided art supervision and guidelines for art production that later became some of the basis for Disney's first licensing style guides. I thought it would be a good idea to put together some information, some basic information about how consumer products are actually made. Carson's passion for Disney animation took him across the globe in 1994, when he became vice president for the European Regional Office of Disney Consumer Products in Paris, and later, Vice President of International Creative Development for the Disney Publishing Group. His editorial supervision and art direction played a huge role in many of Disney's international publishing projects. Carson's love of drawing Mickey Mouse eventually developed into the designs of Mickey's 50th and 60th birthday logos, as well as the Walt Disney Studios logo and design on its famous water tower. They picked up that drawing I did of Mickey and the clapboard and put that on the water tower. And also the Disneyland Hotel's clock tower Mickey logo in Paris. Some of Carson's most recent work includes serving as a consultant for the Epic Mickey and Where's Mickey games. Whenever I draw Mickey Mouse, I don't realize it, but I start smiling. It's kind of like body English, you know, you <laughs> make him look happier and spontaneous. Carson Van Austin not only brought Mickey to life in countless adventures, but he also inspired artists around the world to draw Mickey and his friends to the highest Disney standards. So please me, join me in welcoming Carson Van Austin. Carson. <laughs> This is truly the award of, uh, of a lifetime for me. And uh, Pablo, P Pablo Picasso once said, all children are artists, and then we teach them not to be. And uh, my mother never taught me not to be. Uh, I just kept drawing, and she, she used to tell me that a talent that you have is a gift. And you have a responsibility to put it to good use, you know. You can, you can help other people. And uh, I wish she, she is resting in peace now, but she would be so happy today. Um, and uh, I also want to thank my lovely wife, Jerry. We just had our, we just had our 40th anniversary in July. And together, we raised two wonderful children who are now raising our three wonderful grandchildren. And right there, that's Eliana, that's Stuart, and that's Maya.
One day in 1974, I got a phone call from Don McLaughlin. I had been doing illustra I had been illustrating Mickey Mouse comic books for about four years. So Don called me at home and he said, how would you like to come to work for the comic strip department full time? Well, about an hour later, I called up a friend and I said, think of the greatest thing that could possibly happen to me. And I, I told her that I um, accepted a full-time job at the Walt Disney Publications Comic Strip Department. And um, that was probably, that was one of, one of the happiest days of my life. And all I can say is, I feel exactly the same way today. Thank you.